Generic greetings and welcome back to Transport Fever. We are currently standing on the deck of the Ramsgate to Hasselmere Ferry and just having a nice relaxing time. There's very few things that are as relaxing as standing on the deck of a ferry, especially when it's a steam powered paddle boat one because it's a nice gentle put 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 of the motor and the uh, paddles hitting the water. Very, very, very relaxing. Probably one of the most relaxing things you can do. I mean, or massive amounts of hardcore drugs, just whatever, whatever's your poison, really. And you know, I can't really comment, to be honest. I've only, I've only ever done the one. I've never been on a ferry. True story. No, <laughs> no obviously, um, ferry rides are very, very good and nice and relaxing. Although it does take ages. According to this, it actually takes about a year for that ferry to get one end to the other. Anyway. In the previous episode, we did put in some more ferries. In fact, we put in a ferry from here to here, and then here to here, and also here to here. So, a lot of ferries there. We also upgraded the fuel line. It wasn't really working, and there was some comments suggesting uh, how, how can we actually fix that. But as you can see, we've um, pretty much resolved that now by putting in a massive train. Where is the train? There it is there. This is the fuel line, and as you can see, it can carry a total of 40 fuel, which is good. And then that will drop it off here, and then that will obviously bring everything around and drop it off. And yeah, it's just generally good because we've got this nice transport solution system. What I do need to do though, I just need to uh, change a couple of things about because as you can see, we've got a couple of vehicles. We want to probably um, want to set that one to go to depot and that one to go to depot because they're the standard horse and carts. We need to get rid of them because we don't, we don't actually need them ones running to be honest with you. We also need to probably start upgrading these because as you can see we've got a lot of uh, oil to transport we're just not transporting it fast enough so what we need to do is go over to this and we want to um automatically upgrade we've said yes we've got those we probably want to uh send all vehicles to depot and sell on arrival which is what they're going to do and then we're going to buy some new ones and then sort that out in fact what we'll do is they're going to do that now we'll speed up to max speed they're going to go they're they're going to go back to the uh, the depot here in fact, that one's just going to go around. There you go. But we do have a lot of oil. And as you can see on this place now, we have not got any vehicles on it. We've said automatically replace, but we haven't actually got any vehicles on it. So that's what we need to do. So we'll go over here, buy road vehicles, and it will be a one of those which can carry oil which is and crude oil, which is good. Something I actually should have probably checked. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six... Set oil trail. There we go. And um, there we are. Because we do need to... I mean, obviously, that's going to cost us a lot of money. And there's... Look at that convoy. That's a convoy in half, isn't it? That's a very nice convoy. Convoy. Let's have a click on that one. Check it out. Check it out. There you go. And the driver's hopefully quite happy. And uh, there. There you go. Look at that. A lot of convoys going all the way over there. And that should speed things up a bit because at the moment, you can see we've actually got a little bit of a problem. We're not actually supplying as much fuel and that's, that's, it is a supply problem. It's not a demand problem. Originally, it was a demand problem, but now it's a supply problem. Hence why we've just upgraded this so we can actually take all of this crude oil. Excellent. So... What we need to do in this episode, um, I mentioned about uh, looking around and see what we can do in terms of supply. Well... If you go over to here, we've got coal. If we go over to... Where is it? There's a place I found that uh, we weren't exploiting. It was this. This is a quarry. Brings... So, uh, carries stone. And this thing is a construction plant, which makes bricks out of stone. So what I'm going to do... Transport solution system there to there, and then bring it down to this town here. All right? Right. Let's do it. So. Buses... Not buses, but like road network. Obviously, it's going to be your. Um... Oh my good grief! Look at that. It's uh, really stuck into the ground. If we put it there, we're going to put in this. Uh... I'm going to put in this depot, and I'm going to put it as far as I can without it. See, you can actually put it there. If I put it there, can you see it actually still supplies it because it's still highlighted? Honestly, though, I am just going to put it as close to the edge as possible. Because this game does lie. <laughs> At times, it really does. So, we'll put that other one there. That's fine. And then, naturally, we want a new line going from there to there. And we will... This is the, uh, the stone trail. It's actually the line one stone trail because of 
reasons. Right, the question is, have I called it... Have I called these ones... Yeah, they're actually called Spennymoor or whatever. And what are these ones? Hmm. Gosport. And this one is... West Mersey. Yeah, right, okay, so that's Gosport. So... We're gonna call, we're gonna call it. We'll have to change the name, but the Stone Trail. It's gonna be called the GP Gosport to WM West Mersey Stone Trail. All right, that's fine. And then we will get ourselves some lines, or rather a connection, should I say? And um, we'll put it just there and be fine. Get a depot and then we'll buy road vehicles. And can this carry stone? Iron stone. It can carry stone. One, two, three, four. Set line. Mm, that one. There you go. So that's now going to carry stone from here, which currently there's none, but it will increase. And then it'll carry it over here and it'll take stone or slag and then turn it into bricks. And then what we need to do is take the bricks and carry them over here. Now, the problem with that is that they have to go all the way around this area, and I don't like the idea of them having to do that. So what I'm going to do instead is have a medium country road, and we're just going to sort of build a country road up and over. Like this. Obviously, it's got some more pills and stuff, but that's not a big problem. There we go. That's much better than having to go down there. In fact, that's actually a bigger country road than this one. Oh, well, that's fine with me. So, we will go over again to... Actually, we need to check just to see what requires bricks. It's down here that requires these bricks. Look, see all these require bricks? Not there. So, having it around there would be pointless. So, we do need a depot. And... Actually, the question is, if we put it there... No, it wouldn't supply there. Yes, it's going to be there. Right. Oh my good grief, that's a big, big, big boat, isn't it? That's a very big boat. Do we really want that? Could do. Um, having it here would be okay, wouldn't it? Would it not? Uh, maybe not. What are we best off doing? Let's just have a bit of a test here. If I delete that, alright, what I need to do is spend a bit of money on road. Like that. Actually, what we'll do, we'll come down like that, and we'll come along, and I'll delete that, back over to road, I'll show you my, I'll show you the reasons in a second, okay, so that's a bit of money, but hopefully now, instead of having to go all the way through here and round the back, if I just have one of these here, it will supply... This. No, it won't. Okay, so I've just made a complete liar on myself, as always. There, would that be good? No, there's going to be the best way of doing it, but it's going to be very expensive. Can we put it on this side? Nope, it's going to be expensive either way. Alright, fine, so it's going to go there. Okay, so it goes from there, uh, new line, there to there. It's the west... Uh, West Mersey, the West Mersey Brick Run, we'll call it for some reason, and that would be yellow, I believe. Hang on, we just we do have a, a food transport. Oh, red, blue, 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 blue. It's fine. That's okay. Right. Just need to check something. This green one. Changing the blue as well. Ah, but they're the interim. Ah, right, yeah, because we've got different colours for interim. Yellow is interim. And then actual supply of something is blue. I mean, I know there's not... We're not really keeping to this, but... At least if we attempt to keep somewhere near it, we're not just going to end up with a rainbow colour scheme of whatever you want. Uh, so, back over to a depot. Train 4 has reached its end and has been or will be replaced. Um, I asked in the previous episode like why wasn't my train being replaced and uh, some people did uh, figure it out and um, three, four, and um, it, they did under they did say oh, why why it wasn't the case. Is this actually carrying stone? It is carrying stone. Uh, the reason 
the reason why the trains weren't automatically upgrading is because it cost 2.01 million or something. So, yeah, expensive essentially. Which is why it wasn't uh, doing it. There's the brick run. Obviously, the brick run won't be making any money at all at the moment, but it will uh, eventually. So, where's this train for? And it's not telling me because of reasons. Train four, it is not this one, I don't think. It is that one, actually. That's run out, it said. Did that say that? Really, did that say it ran out? I find that very hard to believe. I find that very hard to believe. I mean, it's possible. There's no replacement set. I mean, essentially, the, that's the engine. And, uh... Six. Yeah, that's the... That's the car. I'll make it replace, yes. So once it's run out, once it's actually got the money, it will replace it. Now, if we go down here, we should be able to see... Has that been upgraded? That has not been upgraded, but this one has. No, that has been upgraded. Has this one? has not been upgraded. This one has not yet been upgraded, train two. And we should probably upgrade this one, because this is the one that's really making us some money. Let's have a quick look at it. Looks, that looks quite good, doesn't it? And there's the other train coming in. Hmm. Obviously much faster as well. Because <laughs> that can do 60, whereas this one can only do 45. There's all the money. And what I'm going to do with that one, I'm going to say you. Um, ah, I was going to say go and upgrade, but it, for some reason, there's been a lot of money spent automatically there. So something's just went and upgraded itself. We'll have to upgrade that one eventually, but uh, that's a future me problem. Right, so, bricks. Let's have a look at the bricks. Bricks are being produced. We've got four bricks, and obviously we'll be carrying these bricks down to there. Perhaps four, perhaps four cars on this is not worth it. Um, yeah, perhaps not. Perhaps not. Perhaps not. 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 Um, the brick run. Should we have all of them? Mm, construction material. It's picking up construction material. They are picking it up. I mean, I actually think that we need, what I'm going to do, this brick run, I'm going to send that a depot, send a depot, right? And what will happen is when they get the depot, I'll put them over to the quarry instead. Because it's the quarry that has the, uh, the most transport. Really, that's a train problem, this, but having a train track around there, around that mountain, would just be ridiculously prohibitive. You would not be able to do it. It would just cost too much. It really would just cost too much. So, um, in terms of food over here, we haven't, really, haven't things over here, we haven't done anything. That, that supplies stone, but then there's nothing around here that... Is that a submarine? New vehicles available. Three axle car and a submarine, apparently. It's not a submarine, it's just really, really thin. We might uh, get one of them. See, look, there's a lot of quarries around. There's a lot of stuff here that just doesn't, sadly, require... Um... Well, there's a lot of stuff around here that just doesn't connect anywhere else, which is problematic. Anyway, while I'm waiting for a bit of cash and stuff, I'm going to get myself another bus route, because, well, that's just generally the... Where to roll. So from there, to there, to there, and then there, there, and then there. Alright, job done. So bus routes. New line. Into there, and then around. It's automatically. Selecting everything as it should, which, yep, yeah, perfect. No problem at all. Bus route is... What colour is the bus route? That's oh, the green, of course. It's green. And this is... Don't need to add a station. A 
for service. Your bus service. Job done. And obviously we will get somewhere to actually supply a bus in here. I think put it right in the centre. Surprised about that one. Should have probably put a depot there, but it doesn't really much matter. So it's going to be uh, one of these cars again. Um, one, two. Set the line. That bus service. Excellent. And there you go. Another bus route that probably is going to start losing money. But whatever. <laughs> I just want to check my routes for um, water. Water's okay. Um... This one isn't generating much money, but the rest is the rest has got some uh, good monies. Uh, I've just lost a lot of money as well somehow, and I'm guessing that's because no, it hasn't been upgraded yet. We do need to upgrade that train sooner rather than later. I want to send it. The problem is I want to send that train back to the depot, All right? I want to send it back to the depot, but it might lose a lot of money if it's sitting in the depot. Although, to be fair, this one, because it's so quick, you can see it's uh, 726k on the balance. So, you know, you have to speculate to accumulate, you have to spend money to make money, all that sort of thing. Um, hmm. When I started, I had but a dream. And £10,000. <laughs> hmm. We didn't know we actually had 3 million, I think, when we started this game. What I'm going to do... I'm going to wait until it's brought these passengers, because it's 44 passengers. And then I'll send it and sell it back. Which, if we send it and sell it on the line, how much would we get? Um, it's this one. To spend more. We'll wait until it's sent back first, because otherwise it'll we'll just end up losing a lot of money. And there we go, ching, and then go back and sell yourself, which is gonna have to go quite a ways around the place. Why is it just sitting there, waiting for free path? Do you know where it's going? It's gonna go up this way. It's going into that depot there. Whoa, look at the size of the town now. It's really grew around it, hasn't it? Quite big, quite large. Hmm. All right, so that's going to go back and upgrade itself. Uh, what we need to do is essentially go to this depot. Um, actually, no, we need to go to... I have placed these depots in the wrong orientation, sadly. Oh, well. doesn't really matter what depot we get. So this one, and we'll buy train... And we want that one, because it's the really, really nice one. And we're not buying it because it's really nice. We're buying it because it's the best one. Uh, and then we've got compartment car. You've got a uh, three-axle car. Looks like there's a steak car. Goods wagon. Yeah. Open wagon. We're going to get three-axle car. Oh, God. Half a million each? Each? All right. Two, three, four. There's four of and you might think, what the hell, that's a lot of money to spend on it. But trust me, we will eventually make money on that. I have no doubt in my mind that we will make money on that one. Uh, while we're on the upgradey gradey bit, we want to click on that one. And just check replacement. We're going to say delete, 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 delete. Set vehicle, and we will add... Three axle car again. One, two, three, four. And you can see the loading speed's times two. That's times four. Um, maybe it's probably faster to load. There. Well, it is faster to load, but it doesn't carry as many passengers. So, and lifespan is. It's actually a little bit. Actually, it might not be better. Maybe the other one was better. Ah oh, well, we'll see. So this is coming down now. It's going to come in and then pick up all of these passengers, which uh, it's not maxed out. You can see it actually has 56 passengers it can max out to. But uh, when it comes this side, there will be some... Uh, ah, damn it, you bloody train! And, uh, it's, <laughs> it's like uh, when I play Railroads. All these sort of games. Mm. End up upgrading my fleet and then... Dun, dun, new train comes along. What a jip. So, 
Uh, I think we're going to put a new train line in. But where do we want to? Where do we want to put the train line? The thing is, right? The thing is, where can we put it? Where can we put it? Indeed, I'm just checking. Actually, is this bringing enough fuel? Only seven fuel. Why? Why is there only seven fuel? Because there's still, still not. Uh, still haven't sorted that out. Hmm. Problematic. Uh, let's go back over here, actually, because I do need to sort uh, a couple of things out. I've got some. Do I not have somewhere in these wagons? I thought I had. Yes, that's got four. And the brick run's got two. And the red depot. There it is. There's the depot. I thought there was a problem with the depot. I want to uh, set the stone trail up. I knew I'd sent these back. And I just want to make sure that I put them all on the right one. So in terms of bricks, we've got two cars going back and forwards. Perhaps we want to get another one, but yeah, we'll see. Loads of stone wanting to be transported from there. That's okay. Where can we get another railway put in? That's the question. That is the question. Well, here's pointless because we've got a ferry. We've got a ferry going around here. We've got... We're probably best doing some freight, but where, where's the best place really to bring some freight stuff? That might be that's a, that's a possibility. This wood here, all the way to that there, because that's a fairly straight shot. That. Hmm. It's a bit out the way though, isn't it? Just putting like a whole railway in just for this forest. It is a bit. But then it might work out. Terminal. Uh, we want a end station. I like prefer the end stations. Rotate it around. Obviously, we'll have to connect it up eventually. But essentially, it's just that way. Pointing that way. Right, and then we'll connect that up to the road. And the question is that, is that now supplying that? It is, it is, and you can see it's connected up. And we'll go over here, and this is a sawmill. So you wouldn't, I don't think you would do this. I mean, this would, I don't know, you, you might do something like this. I can't, I can't imagine it being a very good financial investment because if things go wrong, it's uh, pretty bad, isn't it? So we know we have to head over that way. I'll put it on this side then. There we are. Connect the road up like that. And then we know that that is supplying that, which it is. Right, time to spend a lot of money and get some track. So. Tunnel? No. We will go... Essentially open a... Well, we'll go around. No, no, no. Do we want a tunnel? We've never built a tunnel. It's just going up and over that. Up and over that is just like... It's not happening. Bit of a tunnel there, you see. That's pretty much a straight shot over there. It's going to cost us some money, but we haven't had one before. So we now have a tunnel. It's all downhill, according to this, really. Why is that so expensive? Because it's trying to carve out everywhere. probably have to do we'll probably have to carve a little bit out you see but there we go right so we now have 
Train tunnel. Look at that. A little train tunnel. Didn't cost a lot, but it cost enough. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do is put in a train depot. Put it in the right way this time. So, we want to rotate it round like that. Okay. And then from here, we'll connect it up to there. Like that. And then we'll set up a line. New line. There to there. And that'll make lumber. So, what sort of colour do you want to go with that one? Like an orange colour? Because it's wood. There's no, is there a brown? Uh, yeah, brown. There you go. Right, and this is the uh, Bishop's Waltham South, and then. What the hell is that? Uh, bid up north. So we're going to call it the Bishop's Waltham South. So it's B W S two uh, B N uh, log run. There you go. We will get ourselves a train, and obviously we'll get. I would love to get that. I mean, that's a very that's a very nice train, isn't it? 2.47 million. Yes, I don't think we can actually have um, the best train available. I don't think that's going to happen. Um, perhaps that one. Yeah, I, I would like to get the really expensive train. But, um, yeah, it's just it's not going to happen. It's just far too expensive. So we want logs... Planks, steel, logs. That is logs, I believe it supplies. Let's check. Logs. It does supply logs. Very important, because if it would if it said lumber or something, it was it might be slightly different. So we can get this car here. How much why does it cost that much? How much can you fit on it? Eight. Hmm. So we'll have to wait a little bit. And money's just gone right down. I'm guessing because of uh, some upgrades and stuff. Or just general upkeep, perhaps from the month. We're currently at 19.04. So, I don't know when the first commercial airline was, like, when it existed. I don't know when it started, the first commercial airline, but uh, we'll get them eventually. Let's get another one of those cars. We've got two at the moment. I would like four of those cars in total. So I'm just going to wait. Or maybe not. Maybe it'll just sort of close down when I press the button. I thought you could close one of them down. Oh my good grief, look at that. That's a lot. Passengers. Let's take a little ride on the train while we wait. There you go. Nice. How much money are we going to get from that one? 130k. So actually, it's not... Oh, it's only just breaking even. The problem is that... Is it full? It's not full. Hmm. For some reason, they're always wanting to go to... Uh, here. Now. They used to be going to Spennymore. I think it's because I had this train... Like, it wasn't running for quite some time. So maybe uh, that caused it. New vehicle available... The post bus ET13. I think that's a new... Oh, don't say it's another passenger bus, because going around and upgrading all of them would be a nightmare. <laughs> oh, good grief. Right. So, we want to get another train. So, by train. By carry. By car. Carriage, actually. We can't. We just, just offer money. There we go. And I've got 16k. We're going to get this. It's it's not actually doing any. It's not making any money at all sitting in the yard. So we're now going to get it moving. All right. Obviously, it'll cost us money. It costs us money. It's sitting there. So we'll get it moving. And obviously, it's not going to supply anything just yet. But eventually, it will. It won't carry anything because there's no supply, you see. When it goes back and forward, it'll eventually start producing some of these planks. Well, this will produce planks. And then, we should be able to ship them from the same area. So where requires planks. This requires planks. There you go. Look, planks and steel. 
So we could easily bring the line off and into here. That's no problem at all. And then we just need a steel. And where is steel? That produces that's stone, that's a quarry. Where is the nearest steel? Um <laughs> I'm not seeing it. I have no way I have no idea where it would be. Steel there. Okay. Iron ore and coal is what you need. And then have to bring that all the way. No, it's not happening. There's no way. There's no way. It's like, there's no way I can drive through a mountain. Look at the size of it. Look at the size of the mountain. It's huge. Or go around. No, that's very prohibitive. It's not happening. It's just not going to happen. Nope. Whole big pile of nope. Right, let's see what this trains are doing. Ah, logs. Look, lumber. Logs. We've now got 14 logs waiting. So we should be all right. And then this one will be able to pick it up. There you go. And the supply for this, production is 32. So that's good. Production is going up now. And then this one will start producing wood and then we can bring it down to there. Hmm. Yes, that should be as a possibility. Indeed, indeed. Just need to check the water. Hmm. Not making a terrible amount of money on this one. This one is a little bit, and this one we're losing out on. In terms of tram, we haven't got anything. Road, we are doing okay for a lot. Look at that. That, that uh, stone trail is doing very well, this thing we added over this side. It's very nice indeed. All, all good. Uh, that one is 32 bricks. All right, so we're going to have to actually go and uh, buy road vehicle. We'll get... Um, is that it? Yeah, that is, look, that's a, that's a bus now. So we're going to have to change all of these ones. Oh dear, oh dear. I, I don't like that. I, I, maybe I'm missing it. Maybe I'm missing the just the automatic upgrade everything button on somewhere else, but... It is annoying. Let's go for the... One of those. We'll get two of these. Set the line on the... The brick run, because that's going to bring bricks back. Because we originally had four and four, and I then moved it over to six on this side. So I now moved, uh, I've bought another two, so it transports it this way. Right, let's have a quick look, see if this is uh, all done, which it looks like it has actually. Got some logs, and it's 21 logs, so it's, it's doing well. This one then over here should be... Yes, it has got production, production's on the go. No supply yet. Uh, this one does actually take... Oh, this is a, a steel mill. All oh, right, coal and iron. So where's the nearest iron? That's stone. That's quarry. Yes, yeah, so this is a steel mill. Steel, it's not going to matter. So this goods factory does require planks. So what I'll do is I'll put in a end point here again. Uh, actually, no. We might put one of these ones in. Just because of we might we might continue on, whether that one was definitely going to be a like a an end, end bit. Too much slope. Mm. There we go. So that supplies that good, and then we just need to rail it up. Mm, level grade. Sort of level grade. Bit downhill, but that's okay. Then I have to go over to this side before we do anything else. Uh, upgrade to have another track. She's done. Apply that. And then simply connect this up. Which it is connecting up perfectly well. Excellent. So, I will be a bit clever here and have this rail yard about here uh, just manually chink it there we are and then we'll have connection there and no 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 mm. and a connection there 
Because what's that? What that means essentially is we need to upgrade both these can come to this one. So this is going to uh, we'll buy a train. We'll get a. We can't have a fancy pants one. We can only have one of these. That's just made a little bit of money off logs, but not a lot of money off logs, sadly. Uh, we get one of these fancy pants trains. Not a really fancy pants one, but fairly decent. 1.09 million. It's, in terms of trains, it's uh, quite cheap, I guess. I don't know what your train costs these days. It depends on what train you're getting, obviously, but... Uh, I imagine if you wanted to buy a brand new, like, maglev train. Probably quite expensive. Pretty quite expensive. I'll have to look under the sofa, see if there's uh, any loose change there. I'm sure that'll afford it. Right, we'll have one of these. Bosch, there we go. And then we will obviously set the lines. Actually, what I'll do is I'll set the lines first. So, new line. That and that. And that'll be, again, a woody colour. Like that. And it is the... BN to and where is this one? Where is it we're going to? Why can't I? Mm, what's that one called? Oh, it's the goods factory as well. So. Hang on, where is this line gone? Railroad. That one. So it's BN to BN. Uh, the plank run. It's Plank. Plank. Plank run. Okay. And then we just simply get ourselves. more of these. Uh, can that carry planks? It can carry planks. One. And we'll have to more than one. One won't cut it. How many planks is working? Um, stored. 58. So we can we can have more than that then. Buy train. Buy that one. Oh, no. No money. We had enough money and then, it, then we didn't have enough money. Right. We got two on that. Um, carry eight apiece. You actually, is that right? You can carry eight a piece on each one. Eight, yes. So apparently, you take a full log, right? I'm assuming with like knots and nibbles and a uh, bit of branch and all the bark on, and then you cut it down into planks, and then it still is the same capacity. I don't think that's correct. I mean, you know, it's, it's simple. It's it's simplicity, isn't it? That's the whole point of it. But uh, still, right? We got them three. Set the line. There you go, and there's the plank run. So we're taking wood from here up to there, planks, bring it down the bottom. This one, as you can see, there's now loads of planks waiting. So we do need to upgrade this, uh, upgrade, upgrade those trains so they actually have more carriages on them. I think uh, more like things on the back. That's probably the way to go. Either way, I think we are going to leave it there for now. Uh, my question is. Where would you like to go from here? Now, what it's getting to a point now is essentially of it's it's the upgrade level. So I'm gonna have to go around the entire fleet and set upgrades and manage them and stuff like that. In terms of all of the easy transport systems, we've probably put most of them in. Obviously, we haven't got bus routes in areas around here and such. But um, a lot of the things, like the easy ones, we've already done. The rest is like really just expanding, expanding existing networks and looking for a lot of the harder ones to to exploit or not really harder because that's it's more, more, more the more difficult ones to uh to do but where would you like to go from here we could always leave it there i'm uh, completely open to uh either continuing on or uh leaving it there because it's a nice little end point if we do choose to jump off either way let me know in the comments and we will go from there if we do decide to continue on an upgrade i will do that as a like separate thing i'll just i'll do it all um, out of game and such, or out of recording, should I say. Because otherwise it would just be you watching me upgrade things for 45 minutes, which would not be overly interesting. Anyway, as always, thank you very much for watching, take care, and generic partings.